Well, you can be aggressive in terms of pick off for CU. So now they're using the Kaja. It's more safe, it's more secure, but you gotta wait for that level four power spike. Hey, hey. RC Philippines will respond Ooh. with a Ruby for light. Well, it's gonna so, be... so it's our one, game number one, a full best of three between the Cambodian representative. See you soon with their heavy early aggression and pick off style. And on the other side, we have RSG I mean, Philippines. We've seen, we're used to when the Irital was just the most contested pick. I think at this point, the Bruno will be able to do more. Oh. That's why it's so popular. But Felix flickering out, but the taunt connects. Even kind of able to lock him down with no flicker. That's a first blood picked up by Nats, but MP. Now looking for the chase. Nats with another good response. Flickering out of that mortal. A little bit low and boxy. Looking for something here. It's very hard for them to look for an opening right now. The Mortal Crawl is still ready. Nats jumps oh. in, gets the Vengeance down. The final slash not connecting. Rock gets a good kill back, but Felix now will be saved by the Nether Realm. Appraiser's Wrath, nice timing by DK. Foxy goes in for Flicker, Divine Judgment, able to lock him down, giving MP all the space he needs to go for the Red Tree and a Decimate to the back. It's now. So you soon wanted to help them get the ball rolling, but meanwhile, already a clash here in the mid lane. Life taken quite low, forced to Flicker out already. MP's chasing him down. It's still able to run away for a bit, but now there's another pull down below. Divine Judgment locking Aqua down. MP was merely just a distraction for them to open. It's due to the pressure. I think this is like the third gank now in the bottom side. Might work. Foxy as well. Look at the flank. Divine Judgment finding and mine. They all just collapsed under the tier two. MP oh. now gonna be locked down by the I'm a Bennett. The Don't Run Wolf King. MP still trying to run away right now, but he should fall. The appraisers right now. The oh. Nether Realm from Ra comes in clutch to save him in this initiation. That's with a good final slash. Green Blue save back out of the Nether Realm. Aqua trying to deal the damage, but it's not. that for you soon. Ra has been the main anchor. And also Boxy, if you add him onto it, it's a killing spree for MP. On point, Divine Judgments, his positioning. But not just yet. The utility that he provides is more important. So right now, it's back to a waiting game, but I do feel like, see, see you soon, we should get more. Divine Judgment onto the front line, or Demon Kite gets melted down. My goodness. That's even an Abyssum strike from Felix. Final Slash not connecting as well. See you soon, just diving Whoa. under the target, going all in Felix as well. But that's a minute, not able to find one. Only an I'm offended on Tara, who's not going to be locked down under the turret, getting a little bit more of that damage down. But Eman isn't able a lot to more squishy, and that is just a big problem against this composition from CU soon that relies on being able to just kidnap one of your members. It's a Spectre step, man. That physical defense huh? penetration, and another Divine Judgment. My goodness, this time it finds Nats Billia. in the mid. It's not about one big spell with high quality, it's about yeah. the quantity, man. Eventually, you're gonna take it out with enough spells. Foxy, though, can he find a pick? Uh oh, Aqua. Oh, or she's back. She's now he flickers to the wall and Rob picks him up. A panic button. Boxy now with the Divine Judgment. They're gonna collapse all the way. Nasa able to flicker out to safety right now. He's looking for a final slash play. One big play can turn the tide of the game, Oof. but it's not enough for now. Wow, wow that damage from Ra. One shot, and the man is half HP. Now with the Lord, marching down in the mid lane. They're gonna be CC'd up, and Gucci's free hitting in the back, doing a lot of damage with the heavy crossbow light now. His immortality taken out RSGPH. The Raiders fall one by one in their own base. It's a wipeout, a CU. When, when they go for those their rotations, do they clump up as like, what's their rotation? Oh, like 4-1, oh, do they go as 5? Oof. We'll see you soon? Yeah. Yeah, they kind of clump up as so five a whole lot. That's why they want to go for the Paquito. Maybe look for trades trade into the top lane. Is he just getting some EXP? No, he's trying to help clear the wave as fast as possible. The final slash now coming down. Nats. Knockout strike. Oh. Disengage gets hit by Natural Sphere and the Vengeance takes him down. A good pull back. Oh, oh. And he gets out. What a set again by Boxy to save his Usually, team. We've seen that when the jungler is the one trying to take some poke damage. It's gonna be dangerous. Boxy, Tyrus Revenge, and the Rage. Light gonna be locked down, pinned down to that wall. Still able to escape for now. Felix getting brought back to the team at a stampede and the Divine Judgment as well. Pulls him back, final slash, not connecting. Felix using Vengeance. Foxy forced to back away. They're still sustainable in this fight and they win it out with Ra. Getting a good Astral Sphere. Meanwhile, solo kill down below. In that team fight, nobody lost, but because of that trade in the gold lane, it is kind of, what do you think? 50-50, better for who? It's definitely better for CU soon still, but wait a minute, one more fight. Another Rage onto Light and everyone just collapses. My goodness. Light taken down for the first time this game. Turtle should be advantageous. Come for CU soon, and that's a regular battle. 
one out by MP easily. Nats now zoned away in another realm just to disengage for now. Demon Kite stepping back in. Felix still able to sustain quite a bit. Demon Kite of Razor's Brad Felix. Oh! Gets taken down by the Ghost Bursters. His box he's taken low. MP still looking for a way to win this team fight. Nats is stalking them all the way back. So really seeing this matchup play out just as we expected. The area felt getting bullied. What is this? Almost a, almost a thousand gold behind. Both of the Haas claws, but now the turret's falling down. Light going in. Quaker Divine Judgment connecting only onto the Kufra. Boxy Tyrant oh, Rage! Boxy! What a set and Light still survives somehow. Wow, it's still RSG. Right the cooldown's a lot longer than the Tyrant's Rage. Whoa, oh, Felix! Final Flash Flicker and Mon still able to run away for now. A good disengage by Nats. Punching them back, but MP now. Oh, he failed the third part of the Mortal Coil. Gets hit by the appraiser's oh. back box. He was another Tyrant's Revenge now connecting onto the back line. But now the Stampede brings them back. Another Realm grants them enough HP. Nats still trying to chase them down. It should just be Felix taken out by Iman with those footballs. And with that two around the neutral objective takes, aka board at this point. Or they can use the defending strat, right? Because they have the composition to do so. They got the high ground, but light. Oh, Quicker Divine Judgment now cancelled out. They're going to be pinning down every single member down there. And MP gets a good decimate. The Netherrealm is a bit late from Aqua. And now, see you soon. Oh, it's Boxy Rage! Oh! Out of the back, binding too! Iman gets up for a bit, but Felix collapses down. They're able to kite away for even more. Kuse taunts it and now slashed down by Demon Kite is not. Goes for the finishing blow. Iman dashing forward, or sliding forward rather. Nats still looking for the chase on the Felix. That's a time revenge missed away. Knockout strike and a final slash. Not connecting. All, All the way in the bottom side of the map. Meanwhile, the Lord spawns up top. RSG controlling every part of CU Soon's jungle at this point in the game. And for CU Soon, they're just trapped in their own base. RSG are pushing forward. Boxy, that was revenge. Oh, cancel that way oh. to find judgment by life. Beautifully done. Spaces out perfectly. Let Demon Kite take that shot. Final slash. Bring him on back. Another round. This time on time by Aqua. And Felix will fall. What a brilliantly timed kill. And Ooh. utility usage for the side of RSG. Nats is insane. See you soon. Takes game one. RSG say we'll take game two. And it's all on the back of these Nats. The Empire strikes back as RSG makes solo plays. In the middle of a fight, I think it's going to come to individual skill. It's going to be outplays on top of outplays here to decide who comes out on top. And it's Nats with the Paquito. Signature picks coming out left and right. See you soon. Skill one, that shield with a jab. See you soon now. Trying to zone Demon kind of away. Felix doing a good job with the Spectre. Step with Light joins in the fray. And Astral Sphere! Oh! Aqua! Steals the turtle from downtown. Now Boxy's caught. Nats jumping in. Lock strike. Locking him down for a bit. Aqua, another Astral Recall. The snipe, will he get it? Oh my god, he gets MP! Not... Oh, he did! Wait, he got Boxy, right? Hey, but look at this pressure onto the gold lane, man. They want to punish this Bruno bad. Super fast maneuver, torn apart memory. Boxy taken out, and it's light. He picks up the kill. RSG Snow. Very different to see you soon, who I believe would have actually stepped on the gas paddle. Meanwhile, Felix, oh, he has to be Ooh. careful. Demon Kai, Mortal Coil brings it back! A decimate down in the tier one turret to pick up a kill, and it's all R.S. that turtle earlier on against Demon Kite, who was, again, a level below. Oh, so almost two levels below. I think it's due to the Mortal Coil, but Nats. 1v1, oh, the sustain gets him out just for a bit, but MP takes him down in a 1v1. The goal. MP is the only one, but with all your laners not doing so well, it's only a matter of time, man. Wow. Now they're going to go in again. Wait, the dragon kicking Iman. Find the right target, but Iman is still able to disengage for now. And Felix has no say as to who gets picked off. Quick. And honestly, they do still have the opportunity to do so. Look at the gold difference from MP. Despite everything going on with the team right now, he's still able to carry through. And oh, wait a minute, Demon Kite? Take him low from HP. There's some stun. Oh. Demon Kite gets chunked and taken out. Turn up our memory. Oh, oh. from Iman. Fade away. All the way to MP, who Down was in here from the bottom lane. It's really giving it, making it very difficult for CU soon because they have no idea if it's time to commit or is it time to, you know, bait some things out. They're gonna go for the Lord right now with Boxy. He's trying to look for an opening right now, and it's giving Demon Kite still with the Retri win. Walks in and takes it. It's a double kill for Iman. And Nats is hunting in the back. Ra falling down to give Iman his third kill. It's a triple. Nats setting up for a possible savage. Iman getting brought to back. Clear in that top lane, trying to get those far lanes pushed in. 
They're looking for any option that they can possibly do to have more control of the map. They're forcing Iman to clear in that top lane. And it does give them a little bit of space here in the bottom lane to open up the vision and maybe looking for a pick here. Boxy Ooh. already hovering in, but Light's over there. He has to be careful. The stun down, the torn apart memory fade away. Kill as Light picks it up. Nats chasing the foot away from death. That's a tilter. That is an absolute tilter, man. Light has built a holy crystal as well. He wants wow. even more shielding. And like, like it's not enough so far. So you see now. He can go for it. He kind of gets in conversations. A bit of a strike, a desperate attempt at a fight, but the guiding wind just grants that safety! Torn up our memory from Eman. What a shot again! RFG. The damage dealt, man. Eman, seven, 70,000. Just twice as much as the Joy. It's just a, such an absurd difference. Now again, Eman attempt to go for a play. Flickers out to safety, gets a stun in. Boxy taken down again. And see you soon. The rest of them were zoned away by the torn apart memory of Eman. What can they do, man? They claim the Lord. Now is G are actually backing away right here. Not forcing the issue. Waiting for the calculative just pick out the torn apart memory. Now going in Nats. Again, it's Nats with a knockout strike trying to lock them down as Rock gets taken very low. Kutsay as well. Gets hit by the Astral Sphere. Eman. Look at the poke, look at the stacks, all on. The base is wide open. RSG BAs the Raiders. Wanna go to top four. It's Felix with one last chance to look for an opening, but Iman just pops in. The damage, not enough to get the torn apart memory. Oh. Down rocket snipe from Aqua from downtown. Now one cannon minion cleared away. One more wave coming down mid lane. Boxy taken low. The torn apart memory takes him out, but Felix as well will fall in the mid lane. RSGPH have done it. They've reverse swept. See you soon to knock them out and to advance to the next stage of the knockouts. The rumbling continues, ladies and gentlemen, as it is looking once again like stepping closer to an all Filipino upper brackets and perhaps even the grand finals. What a game by RSG Philippines as they have knocked out one of the dark horses here at MPLI 2023. Who would have thought, man, it was such a close game, but in the end, it seems like RSG had every solution prepared. The engage, the split push, the big team fights, nothing just escapes their sight. And unfortunately, see you soon. We won't be seeing them soon at all. Not for now, man. MPLI 2023, it's see you soon knocked out despite their great run in the knockout stage already. Just yesterday, knocking out the Ohio brothers, but today against RSGPH, despite a good start to the series, they weren't able to fully close it out. And RSG, we know that the, that the Raiders have always been a downloading team. They take their time to download and adapt to their opponents. And this time, again, it's these Nats who comes out on top. Definitely. What a team. Very excited to see what happens in their performance next time around. Because like you mentioned, their performance after game number one, their performance to game number two, and we saw the instant transition to game number three and how it was able to change that quick is insane from this team. Really excited to see what they are able to show us the next time they perform on the, 